Hi, Coach Shauna with ShaunaHolt.com, and um, this week I shared um, meal planning ideas where I provided you some strategies to use in finding and saving recipes to use in meal planning. Today I will be sharing with you tips to figure out what to eat when. So when you jump on, let me know, say hi. Um, <clears throat> if you watch this later, put hashtag replay. So first today, I, I want you to take a look at your calendar, you know, and think about any special events that are coming up in the next week or longer if you are actually going to meal plan for a longer period of time. Look for birthday parties or office luncheons, um, anything like that where you would actually be having some kind of food. You know, you can um, plan to eat something before you go or you can bring a healthier option to go with you for, for whatever is being served. Another option could be to use this event as your planned um, cheat meal uh, but make sure that you could that you do plan according accordingly for this you know looking at your calendar is also good so that you don't plan a, a new complicated recipe for a night that you have an event whether or not it is it is even a an event that you're going to eat at step two is to look at what meals that you had found that you wanted to have that would work better back to back. Maybe one day you're baking chicken and the next day you need cooked chicken for a chicken salad. So if you line them up ahead of time, then it'll be easier for you when it's time to cook. That way you can cook the chicken on, the, on that day and use it for two days. Some people do cook um, you know, a whole batch on Sundays or even Mondays and then you know, use that the whole week, which is a, another great idea as well. But you don't have to overcomplicate this. You don't have to cook everything one day of the week. You can break it down into different sections, whatever works for you. Now let's look at those meals and figure out what to eat when. So when I sit down to map out the plan, I'm really only mapping out dinner. Um, I personally have the same breakfast every single day of the week, which is two eggs with cheddar, vegetables, and give or take a, an English muffin or a, a sweet potato that morning. Um, those items go on a list automatically for, for the week for groceries. For lunch, I have my Soul Complete Shake. My shake works really well for me in the afternoon because that's when I'm busiest between work and homeschooling. And then if we were to have an appointment outside of the house, I could actually take it with me. Um, my kids, they also eat eggs, you know, usually for breakfast, not so much the vegetables. Um, and then, the, then a shake also for lunch. So our dinners each night of the week are, are different. That is what we plan for. And we have a different dinner each night of the week for about two weeks. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. So pretty much we have a running list of meals that could probably go a whole month without, with only maybe two or three repeats. So you'll need to decide if you wanna plan out all the meals, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even snacks can be planned out or if you want to just do dinners. You can always start with something small the first time and you can always build up on that too. So like I said, don't overcomplicate it, no special rules. Um, so today I do have some some freebies for you. I have, a, I have meal planning sheets and a grocery list template and I will share that in um, as soon as I wrap up here. Also, if you're not part of the Journey and Wellness Facebook community, um, I'll share that link as well. I do offer different tips and strategies each week on health, wellness, and fitness. I've shared recipes in there every year for the last two years. So there's a lot of recipes if you just search for that too. So I hope these tips help and I hope you have a great rest of your night.